Welcome to our electron line. Besides the unique property that when water freezes it expands so that ice will float on top of water, water has another extremely unique property. Water is most dense not at 0 degrees Celsius but at 4 degrees Celsius, which means that when water is at 4 degrees Celsius it's more dense, it will sink to the bottom, and water that's either 3 degrees Celsius or 5, or 5 degrees Celsius is less dense and will rise above that. So what happens during the year? So again, let's say we have a lake. It's summertime, it's 20 degrees Celsius outside, so the top layer of the water is 20 degrees Celsius. Below that, the water gets colder and colder, so it will go down to 15, 10, 5 degrees Celsius and so forth. And sure enough, as water becomes cooler, it becomes more and more dense, and then eventually at the very bottom, you will find the most dense water, which is at 4 degrees Celsius. If it's a deep lake, the lake at the bottom will have a temperature of about 4 degrees Celsius. So what happens when it gets colder outside? Well, as it gets colder, the water at the top gets colder, it becomes more dense, it will sink to the bottom, and the warmer water will rise to the top. But the 4 degrees Celsius water will remain at the bottom, and no water will replace that because it's more dense than any other temperature above there. Then as it becomes winter, the temperature drops to minus 10 degrees Celsius, so the water at the top will get colder and colder and eventually reach zero degrees Celsius. Below that is water that's one degree Celsius because that is more dense than the water at zero degrees Celsius. So when you look at the curve right here, at four degrees Celsius it's most dense, but at three degrees, two degrees, one degree, zero degrees, it becomes less and less and less dense, so it will float on top of the water that is warmer below that. So you can see that one degree Celsius is more is less dense than 2 degrees Celsius, which is less dense than 3 degrees Celsius, which is less dense than water at 4 degrees Celsius, which will be at the very bottom. And then the lake will, the water in the lake will begin to freeze at the top because it's now at 0 degrees Celsius, so it becomes ice, but ice is less dense than water, so it will stay floating at the top, and below that you have the the less dense water at the top and the most dense water at the bottom. At minus 4 degrees Celsius, the water is most dense at the bottom of the lake and there's no reason for that water to rise to the top because it's more dense, it can't rise to the top and because water is such a bad conductor of heat, if the lake is at any depth, it takes a very long time for the heat to escape from the 4 degrees Celsius water and slowly make that cool down. So, any big lake like that will remain unfrozen at 4 degrees Celsius at the bottom all winter long and so life can just exist while the winter's raging outside at very cold temperatures all the, the fish and the plants and everything can simply survive because the water will remain at about 4 degrees Celsius at the bottom and so only the water near the ice near the top gets colder than that but will remain unfrozen because now the ice will make a nice thick layer Heat will not conduct very well through the ice, especially if the ice is covered with snow that makes it even a better insulator, and so the lake will remain unfrozen because the heaviest water at 4 degrees Celsius would sink to the bottom. Again, if that wasn't the case, the 4 degree water will simply rise to the top, it will get to where the ice is and much more easily lose its heat, and heat would escape and the, ice would, the water would get colder and colder and freeze and the, the ice would get thicker and thicker because of that escape of heat but because the more dense water is at the bottom of the lake, and of course that works just the same for the oceans. The bottom of the oceans are at about 4 degrees Celsius, and above that the water can get colder and colder as you get near the surface, but you get that nice region down there far below the surface where water will remain at about 4 degrees Celsius for summer, winter, all year round, because heat cannot escape and this could never rise to the top because water is most dense at 4 degrees Celsius. It's an amazing property that keeps our oceans unfrozen. That along with the fact that water expands when it freezes, so ice can't sink to the bottom. The temperature at the bottom of big lakes and big oceans are going to be somewhere above freezing. And if it's not too cold, like in the Arctic or the Antarctic, it'll be about 4 degrees Celsius when you go way down to the bottom. It's quite remarkable that water does that, but again, that makes life possible in those regions because water will not freeze at 4 degrees Celsius.